All right, so before we jump into the video and the accessories I use for the Sony ZV-1 and the Sony ZV-E10, I wanna go ahead and say that it is storming right now. It's crazy wind. The wind speeds are probably gonna be picked up into the microphone, so I do apologize for that, but it's the wind. There's nothing I can do about it. Um, and then on top of that, I have a premature newborn at home, so I might have to stop the recording and go take care of him and stuff like that. So sorry if the video is spliced up kind of weirdly. I want to go ahead and say that there will be links down in the description to my kit landing page, a way for you to be able to see everything that I use for the certain cameras and certain gear and stuff like that. So it would be located all in one place so that my description box isn't filled with a million items and stuff like that. So it's just easier and I'm always updating it if I do tend to add something to my gear or my kit then you can go ahead and check that out and i just want to say that some of the links are affiliate links and they do help out the channel at no cost to you if you do find this video helpful uh, like and subscribe maybe you know what i'm saying if you are interested in this sort of thing lastly i do want to say that uh, this video is not as professional as i normally do i usually use the sigma 16 millimeter lens but right now i'm using the kit lens on the, on the sony zv e10 so that's something that you can see the shotgun mic and you probably can see the GoPro and stuff like that. I'm going to be using the Alpha 6100 as a replacement in the camera bags um, in certain portions. I will let you know when that takes place. With that being said, let's jump into the first camera bag that I usually use. Um, this is like my everyday carry if I'm going out anywhere and I know that I'm possibly going to want to vlog or something like that. This is always staying on me. This is a low pro little sling bag. It's a the Ventura uh, SH100R Mark II. Um, it's somewhat waterproof or water resistant. Um, it has a little latch right here for SD cards. It's very small inside as you can see, but it can hold everything that we're gonna be putting in this bag. Uh, it comes with a little strap. I added this little dongle wherever to clip onto my belt loop or my belt itself um, while it's over my shoulder, just in case if I need to do that. So a little extra security. It does come with one little divider inside as you can see. Sony's DV-1 sits right in there as you can see. Next up what we're gonna put in is this pistol grip that you can get from Walmart. It's about six bucks, six to seven bucks. Um, it's a pistol grip that is also a tripod. Um, it's very cheap, very plasticky, but it gets the job done. You just hold it out in these handles right here, these finger grips and you just extend. I have particularly long arms, so the vlogging um, is not that bad as far as the wide angle and stuff like that. A lot of people get the wide angle adapters and everything like that for the Sony ZV-1. I just have the small ridge cage on it, um, but this one, again, is cheap, lightweight. It can handle the Sony ZV-1. I would not put the any other camera on this thing or wherever, just a regular point and shoot, um, I feel like is the max that I would do with this just because the build quality of it. But with that being said, again, further out like this never had an issue with wide angle or anything i've used it multiple times for vlogging already so i like it we're just gonna go ahead and put it right in there and now sandwich between is going to be our microphone i am going to put the microphone name on screen because the naming convention from sony uh, it's crazy, but this is a Sony camera that I got for a uh, Sony microphone that I got for around 80 bucks refurbished on Amazon. It's usually around 90 bucks or 99 bucks or something like that. But you can find a refurbished one. That's what I did. And then I got a separate dead cat to put on top of it because it comes with a foam windscreen, but that windscreen is terrible. So I just double up and put the dead cat on it. I haven't heard any like bad i guess sounds or whatever from it now that i have this dead cat on it as far as like wind getting into my videos and stuff like that i've been very easily uh been able to eq the wind out and everything in post um it's pretty much a hot shoe microphone so it's gonna work for the sony zv1 and the sony zv e10 because uh they have hot shoes instead of cold shoes that just means that there's electronics in the mount up top you slide this in no wires now you can't control your audio or your microphone levels but it automatically does that for you and there's no wires and i don't have to worry about having wires or extra things in there it's just three pieces go right in there now what i would say is i take the hot shoe uh portion and i point it towards the back of the camera bag instead of the front that way if anything hits the front of the bag it's not going to possibly damage the the microphone uh, connections or wherever on the actual microphone itself it does come with a little cover that you can put on the microphone 
to keep those electronics safe. But again, I've had this microphone for about two months now going on three, haven't had any issues. I've had this camera bag for about two months. Haven't had any issues. I was able to travel, go inconspicuously or wherever. Just looks like a little sling bag. Um, I haven't had any, like anybody be like, hey, you can't, you know, bring this to wherever or videotape here or anything like that. It's been pretty much inconspicuous. Um, lastly, we have four extra batteries just in a Ziploc bag. We're going to put it on the wall side right next to the pix pis uh, pistol grip. I can't speak. Um, and then you're going to zip it up and it all fits very snugly very tightly in it um i haven't been able to really test this like in rain or anything like that but again it's supposed to be uh water resistant at least or wherever not necessarily waterproof but water resistant enough uh, so if it's a light rain or something like that but even if it is i usually just sling this underneath like my hoodie or jacket or something like that and been like i said perfectly fine lightweight um, hasn't slowed me down so again if i'm going out even if it's a small little fast trip or something like that I usually keep this bag ready to go so I can just grab it by the handle and go and not have any issues at all. So definitely like this camera bag. It does have two little pockets on the sides. I'm not sure what you would put uh, in here. Uh, your guess is as good as mine. Um, but yeah, nice little camera bag, durable. I like it, lightweight. I highly recommend it. All right, so next up is another low pro bag. This was actually my very first camera bag. I got it from um, a Best Buy when I was in North Carolina because we went to see the Chinese uh, Lantern Festival in Raleigh, North Carolina. So this is just something I've been using for about five months now. Um, this has been in actual torrential downpours of rain and stuff like that. Never had an issue with it. I do like it overall. I would recommend it if you just have, let's say the Sony uh, zve 10 or one of those cameras or something like that but you don't have too much gear but you want to put stuff in a bag or wherever i would recommend it just based off my personal experience it's comfortable it's lightweight on the back i haven't had any issues i will get into some cons real quick uh these side pockets are the mesh hole woven pockets um, I never liked these even on backpacks back in the day when I was in school and stuff like that because they always get holes in them and they rip and tear and over time they just become useless. Um, on the side though I do have this little tripod thing from Walmart from Bauer. Um, it's about 20 bucks 25 bucks or something like that. Has a little two little arms that you can uh, attach to the side of the tripod. And what that allows you to do is to extend your microphone to be out here if you want it closer or something like that. But at a frame or something, you can do that if you want to attach a light and have it off axis so it's not blaring in your face. It's just off to the side a little bit. You can do that. Um, it comes in handy. A slight weight. I would use this with the Sony ZV-1. Um, it does come with a built-in phone little, I guess, stand clip thing that you can use to be able to, I guess, you know, do selfies or you know vlog or wherever that's your thing if you want to do that with your phone you can um but it's very versatile like it stays on the side of the camera bag um this front pouch this front pouch has a pouch right here for a um laptop or a tablet i'll try to put on screen the specifications of the laptop that can go in here or tablet or something like that i don't have one that's small enough to fit in here so usually it's just empty or i keep these little things like i said for the tripod um i have extra batteries in here for uh i would say my headphones while i'm traveling or something like that because i use this bag for inner city travel so if i'm going to a park or something like that and i'm not bringing all my gear or too much or something then i'll just bring this and i have headphones or whatever noise cancel headphones they take AAA batteries so just extra spare batteries in the front i have a mask because you never know people nowadays it's still bad out there so i carry that to make sure i have it at all times yeah nothing else really in the front pocket or wherever to really put in there but like i said you can your use case scenario might be a little different all right so opening it up it does open from the front it's not a, a rear opening bag but opening it up up top in this little pouch right here i have 
a lot of stuff that I put in here. I have my wireless lavalier system from Cinco. Uh, very cheap lavalier system, but great sounding. I love it. I have this Mobo uh, shotgun microphone that actually has a wire. Um, just depending if I'm doing a double, uh, I guess, microphone setup and I have both cameras at two different camera angles. I use the other microphone and this one if I need to for shotgun. I like the way they sound. Uh, in my voice i have the batteries for the sony zv e10 the two extra spare ones and then this thing which is uh honestly a game changer i'm not sure how to say this company's name uh i don't know if it's gonna focus but again i'll have links to this this is something that i would say is probably a must buy if you are doing content creation like i am right right now or you're doing vlogs and stuff like that it works with the sony zv1 it works with the sony um zv e10 um, because of the bluetooth capabilities it just controls the camera i know sony has their own one but it's more expensive this one you can find um literally under a hundred dollars i know the sony one's like 99 dollars or something like that but this one i got for like 60 bucks or something 70 bucks or something like that it's a little tripod thing um the remote comes off you connect it it will take pictures it will take photos um it would take video if you record it and stuff zoom in zoom out um autofocus on and then you have your custom button whatever your custom button one is on your camera it will also be on the remote so just keep that in mind um full 360 degree rotation up top um a little mounting screw and it also has a pivot so you got that so the legs apparently just come straight out it was a little bit hard and a little bit difficult, but it comes straight out. The remote is powered by a little battery, so you might want to pick up just, just in case or whatever, but it's going to last long. It does have a locking mechanism, so you can lock it. So if you hit the buttons or whatever, it doesn't do anything. So there's that. Um, other than that, uh, this thing, highly, highly recommend. I think this is a game changer for uh, people who want, again, to maybe stand away from the camera, hit a record button, talk or something like that, and walk towards the camera, have it in their pocket as far as the remote goes and stuff like that. Because again, you can attach, detach it from the tripod. It is very, very handy. And uh, I think more people should talk about this one. A lot of people just talk about the Sony one because I know it's on brand, but again, this one, a little bit cheaper, does it fine it pairs pretty quickly and stuff like that every time i have to pair it for whatever reason if i'm swapping between cameras does it flawlessly haven't had an issue with it had it for about i would say a month and a half now again i i can't sing the praises of this thing enough all right moving on to the other portions of the bag we have the sony zv1 slotted right in here um has a small rig cage on it uh, and that's it again no uh wide angle adapter or anything like that because the pistol grip gives me enough angle got the little microphone that i talked about before down below and then stuff behind the microphone is the extra batteries for the sony z1 the main compartment right here will be the sony alpha 6100 or the sony um, zv e10 will go into that slot um, with the sigma attached to it or wherever usually i'll take both cameras on um, shoot and sometimes i'll leave the sony zv1 behind but i'll take both the 6100 and the uh, cv e10 with me to you know do photos videos whatever on the bottom all i have is a quick release plate for it um, from newer just to quickly put on tripods or any mounting stuff that i have relatively inexpensive over here in the slots we have the sigma um, 30 millimeter lens that i recently just got haven't really been able to use it too too much um, just because the weather around here has been looking a little bit bleh so can't really uh I guess take really good photos or really do anything outside so there's that um moving on a little extra kit lens just the regular kit lens this is another thing that i would say that everybody should probably have in their kit so this thing is very very important it is the sony mpf battery uh charging dock but what it does it has a type c out and a type uh, usb a out so what you would do is you will plug in your Sony uh, MPF batteries into it, and then you would plug your USB type A cable to uh, micro USB to the Sony ZV1. So you'll have your MPF battery up top. You'll have your USB A out plugged into your camera. And then what you would do is you'd put on USB charging 
on your camera. So you can have the big boy Sony MPF batteries up here and it will charge your camera and your camera will run all day. So you don't have to have a wall outlet. So if you're out and about and you need uh, to make sure that your camera is always powered or wherever and you don't have a wall outlet, this is a very good option. I haven't seen anybody talk about this at all when it comes to accessories for the Sony ZV-1. So that's just something that you might want to uh, take a look at. I highly, highly recommend it. Now, the cables that this comes with is a Type-C to Type-C and a, a USB-A to Type-C. But again, you can use it for the Sony um, ZV-E10 because again, that takes actual Type-C or you can use it with this one, get mounted on the bottom right here of the small rear cage, have that electronic microphone that I talked about earlier, and then have your charging cables come out, plug into the camera. You can twist it so it doesn't block your little uh, screws at the bottom, have your tripod, cable, only one cable going to your camera, USB charging while you're recording or at least while you're out and about so you don't have to worry about constantly switching out batteries or anything like that highly highly recommend again there will be a link to this one and another one in the description um, so if you take anything from this video these two things get them and uh, you won't regret it so lastly is going to be this camera bag from pgy tech um, uh, the reason why i like this camera bag so much because the front compartment um, even though i have some stuff that i've been talking about like my type c charging cables extra batteries all that stuff for whatever accessories like little dick knack go in this pouch but at the front the pocket goes all the way down and it fits my whole gimbal fully assembled now the reason why i wanted this backpack in particular was mainly because of that function i don't have stuff that's going to i guess fill out this bag entirely because i just don't have that much camera gear but overall i like this bag i like the look of it i like the sleek design um this is the one mode light version i think there's another version or whatever that's more expensive but i just needed this version just because of that um the capability to put my gimbal in there and I, of course i'm gonna adjust it correctly or wherever because usually i put the gimbal in and then all my accessories so but yeah that just goes in the front pouch right there um the side pockets i know there's two of them i don't put anything in the side pocket because again i don't have a lot of gear this right here down here is just for um, pulling out your camera from the side on the other side we'll go ahead and talk about what we got attached here is the Ulanzi uh, travel tripod. I'll put the version obviously in the kit link, um, but it has a fluid head tripod uh, attached to it. So it's just a nice travel sized one. Again, this is just something I would use to travel like through airport, planes, something like that, out of state, out of town, you know, bag. And that's the reason why I got it because it fits, like I said, my gimbal, it can fit all my other camera gear. Since I don't have that much, this is like my one-stop shop kind of bag has everything. It does open from the rear. And once we open it up, we right here, we have a laptop sleeve. If I remember correctly, you can hold up to a 16 inch laptop. I have a 14 inch like Samsung Chromebook uh, uh, that I use. I don't necessarily edit on the, on the, when I'm traveling or anything like that. I just use that to be able to transfer files or whatever to a, a hard drive so I can get them off my camera if I need to, stuff like that. And uh, I just edit it all when I come back home. So that's just it because I'm only usually gone at the most a week whenever I travel. So it's not too pressing to be able to do stuff um, on the go. But it's nice to have. It, it's a laptop that allows me to have internet um, no matter where I go and stuff like that. That's why I did it. It's not like a content creation laptop, but it'll fit right in here again we got the one mode light logo moving on over i just recently got this camera bag too so it's not um fully optimized i would say but uh down here we have the camera that we will pull out from the side right here we have the 30 millimeter lens um, shotgun microphone down here um, the battery compartment thing that i talked about we have the sony zv1 up here don't have anything to really place right here uh we have the microphone the little handy dandy tripod selfie stick thing and then my wireless lavalier system uh mixed in with some batteries for um both the 6100 and the zv e10 so 
that's pretty much it it's not a lot of stuff that goes in this camera bag at least for me i've seen people pack it out wherever i don't really like i said have the accessories or something to pack it out but that's just my thoughts and opinions i think this bag is really good for traveling unfortunately i got it after i you know already did all my traveling i guess for the year and stuff so i don't really have a use case scenario for it right now that's just all the accessories and pretty much everything that i use for traveling and going out and about and stuff like that um, i know i mentioned some i guess accessories and everything that you might be interested in uh, if you want to know every single accessory that i use for my sony zv1 and my sony uh, zv e10 i can make a separate video just let me know in the comments down below if you want to see that um, for my studio setup and everything like what accessories i actually use uh, attached to the cameras and stuff like that that will make it a little bit easier to use these cameras some of them will be repetitive stuff that other people have done but um some of it will be unique and stuff like that just from my own research that i've seen and nobody's really talking about or uses that i think can make these cameras a little bit better so with that being said, hopefully you guys enjoyed what's in my camera bag a little bit. If you did, then please consider subscribing or leaving a like on the video. And again, I apologize of the overall quality of the video. It's just storming newborn at home, like I said, and um, had to use some of the camera gear and equipment in the camera bags themselves to show you how pretty much I have it laid out. With that being said, though, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Take care. Have a squid test day. God bless you and yours. And deuces, everybody. Much love. Oh,